All right. Well, I'm going to give a shot on trying to get uh, Mirror Cage worked on today for a little bit. We'll see how far I get. I'm probably going to be restarting the same mission over and over, but before I even get to that point, I'm going to review a couple of videos that uh, I've already done it. Got one by Prox, and got one by Jangler, and got another by uh, Prox. He did it in a run, so I'm going to be looking at all these first off before I even start to see what they did correctly and see if I can adapt it. So, here we go. Okay, so you went directly for the dropship. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. Nice. Okay, what time did I get? Okay, I got 42. I think the world record's 41. I'm just going to quickly check that. Either that or it was 43. World record's probably 41. Okay, let's see. Mirror cage. Oh no, it's 42. All right, cool. Well, I broke my record and on camera. So that's nice. Okay, so he got a 42 just doing that. I'm going to set this to a loop here. Let's get to the end of this. Nice. Okay, 116. Uh, let me change this. Do, do, do. 15. Okay, I'm gonna, let's look at Jangler's. Okay, so he does a shutdown right there. There's also a difference in the amount of ammo. That's interesting. I think Prox took the Silver Staff one just for safety, so they had extra 10 ammo. I think I like the extra 10 ammo just in case, because I'm going to be doing this as a whole segment, not just one... So, I have a sinking suspicion I'd be better off with the, the Silver Staff build. Oh, hey, Matt. Sorry, I didn't see you until now. How are you doing this morning? And, yeah, uh, I'm doing morning practice on this because uh, I was going to be racing Prox uh, eventually coming up. I don't know whether we're going to actually do it uh, on New Year's or not. It depends on how far I get on this. So I'm trying to get as much done as I can before New Year's, and we'll see how far I get. If I can actually figure out how to do all 12 missions before... Uh, Before New Year's, then I'll do it. But we'll see. Enemy power up. 
Hey, quiet's good. At least you can do whatever you want when it's quiet. Oops, it's not the right one. Where is it? This is it. Whoa. Okay, so in this one, Prox only has 30 ammo. But he has an AC 20. Okay, that's different. What's that? Uh, are you aware that the mech... Two Mercs bug where you save the game after the final mission, you won't get the Tokyo in, in cutscene. Um, no, honestly, I don't remember that. It's been a long time since I played Mercs. Oh man, I'm sorry. Well, it also depends on what version you're playing. I mean, are you playing the version with dynamic salvage, or are you playing on the version without the dynamic salvage? Because the one without the dynamic salvage is a lot less buggy. Huh. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I did, did not know about that then at all. Okay, so he, they're in between 33 and 30. Oh, wow. You get a lock all the way from there? Kind of surprised. Oh, yeah. No, I know DOS doesn't have the dynamic salvage. I'm just surprised that uh, there's that bug. I didn't know about it. Okay, so I guess bottom line here, whether I go AC-10 or I go AC-20, that's the question. I honestly think the AC-10 is the better choice because you got the distance by going the AC-10. Go look at proxies again over on the original. Yeah, go for it, Matt. That'd be a good stream to do. Once I got a legacy machine at some point, I'm probably going to go pick up MechWarrior 3 and hook that up on here. Well, I mean, 
Yeah, you're right on that. It would be nice if they actually did give you some type of bonus. I agree on that. Okay, let's see here. Well, yeah, true, but I mean... Hall of Fame, more or less, but I don't think it... Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Register Simcoe Identity. Okay. Mirror Cage, here we come. I gotta make a mech first. I don't have any of the mechs that I did for the wolf run. Um... I've never tried, but I'm pretty sure if you delete the file, it probably would regenerate with the empty file, but I don't remember what file that is. You'd have to look uh, in the directory and then do some hex editing because I'm pretty sure it's not in standard text. It might be like MW2 SND or something like that. Uh, I don't know for, mech for Mercs though. I really honestly don't know. Stormcrow. Nova, Jenner. Okay, so... Which of these mechs do I need to delete? No. Got way too many Arkham. I think Arkham Direct was the best one. At least the one I like the most. So... I'll delete this one, I guess. And then I'll remake it if I have to. Nice. What's the specs you got? Oh yeah, this is a MechWarrior 2 Windows 95. I'm actually running on uh, legacy hardware on this. Um, Windows 98 and everything. Uh, which G-Force? Um, I think I'll keep that one. Yeah, but like, is it uh, two, like a 1080, a 2080, 3080, uh, 40 series? Well, it's not going to be 40 if it's last year, but um, that's basically what I mean. Okay, not bad. Not bad. It's probably not going to be a, if it's 2021 and you bought it, it's probably going to be a 20 or a 30 series, most likely. Um, because I, I'm running on this machine, uh, 1080 Ti, and that's roughly four or five years old at this point. So pretty sure you're going to have something like a 2080 or a 3080. Unless you got hit by the part shortage like me. 
is I've been trying to get a my hands on a 3080 or or a uh, 40 series for a while at this point. I can't find one. But at this point, I'm going to have to rebuild the PC anyway. Okay, I'm going to just base it off of this one and customize this. Remove the weapons and throw AC-10s on it. Wait, hold on. Why am I doing that? That doesn't work. Oh, yeah, I don't... I bet. I mean, going from a laptop to a desktop, 100%. Or is this a laptop too? But... Okay, I'm going to just change this one here. Want an extra ton of ammo. Or... I'm double... I keep rethinking this. It's like, yes, I can have the extra ton of ammo, but at the cost of 0.75 armor. It's almost not worth it. I think I might just try this one and just see what happens. Hey man, either way, cool. Laptop upgrades are awesome when you get them. Um, if you're trying to stream from a retro PC, you need a converter, basically. What I'm doing is a little bit more intricate, though. I have what is called an Extron up converter, and that's taking the uh, signal, whether it's at 640 or whether it's 320, whatever, and I have it upscaling all the way to 1620 by 1280 or 1200, um, and it's working pretty good all in all. At least I think so. And then the stream itself is running at uh, 4K off the PC. Okay, I'm going with this one. Let's just see what happens. But the other thing you need is a audio output. Um, the problem with streaming from a second PC is that the audio, if you don't have a way to get it off there, it's a pain in the neck. The way that I wanted to do it originally, so my Xtron converter, it takes um, a audio stream and throws it on the HDMI so that I can just take it all as one. But for some reason, it stopped working, so I'm using a audio input on the machine for a line in from the machine to get it to the PC, which is working just as well. Yeah, that's true. Um, in addition to the up upscaler, I am using a Elgato. Uh, what is that thing? I don't actually remember. It's like an HD. One second here. Uh, it's the Game Capture 4K 60 Pro Mark II, apparently. Yeah, I, I could do that for you. No problem. I'll do that after the stream. Okay, I'm going to give this a shot to see how far I get. Why not? Okay, 33. Hey, no problem. Uh, okay, so first off, it's a small turn, so I already got that wrong. Oh, wait, wait, I'm in a mad dog on top of that. Why... Jenner, hello. <laughs> I forgot about that. Every time you change it on there, it actually doesn't choose the mech. <laughs> yeah. That rainbow never goes away. Doesn't matter whether you're on DOSBox or the real thing. It never goes away. 
I just remember being on the ATI cards. That was interesting because you got basically the whole game in Rainbow World, basically, no matter what. And does not go away after the game launches. I do not miss those ATI rate those ATI cards. I don't even remember what model it was. But they broke it completely. Okay. Local time is 23, 24, 20 GST. Am I even close? All systems nominal. Oh, I need to look and see how Where's the where is it? Am I missing it? Where is it? Dropship. Where are you? Engaged. Okay, there's the dropship. I'm going way too slow. What? Why isn't it blowing up? Interesting. That was 40 rounds. How in the world did Prox destroy this with 30 rounds? Uh, because I'm on the old PC and the load times are so bad, I am not using the CD. I am using a Damon Tools thing because of the fact that the load time on the CD was so slow. Otherwise, not only did it, it load slowly, but the music kept chopping out and repeating. And so then the music would get in a loop that it was really, really, really bad. So, unfortunately, I just let the music go. Um, okay, I'm going to go look back on the video because I want to know whether they shot at a different point than I did or what. Because I fired 40 rounds at it. I should have gotten it. Well, yeah, the disk drive was one of my oldest drives. Actually, it was from my, like, second PC or third PC or something like that. So, I mean, yeah, it needs another drive. I just haven't replaced it. Okay, so he shot at the center of it. What did Jangler do here? Come on. Was it? So, Prox pretty much shot directly at the center of it, and that's what he's doing as well. So, is this dropship glitchy? I wonder. I really hope not, because this is going to be painful if. My shots are getting eaten by the air. Okay, let's try that again. Planet Zolomir. Ambient temperature 34.68 degrees. Okay. Local time is no, that's not quite right. 24. Oh, the other thing I didn't look at, I need to know how fast they were going. I was not paying attention to that. Clearly, my speed doesn't seem right. Okay, where's the dropship? Oh, wow. My jet charge. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Enemy target destroyed. What? Primary objective destroyed. Um, they destroyed it for me. Successful. Thank you. Proceed to dust off zone. <laughs> okay. All right. So. I think what this means is that 
it's not a static target. Um, I don't know how else to say this. Um, I think the side that I'm facing, I've got to actually hit the same exact spot every single time. Because if I move around the dropship, I think it's got different armor. I'm not sure because it doesn't tell me that on the uh, wireframe, but that's the only thing that makes sense. So let me try shooting the same spot in one spot and maybe I get lucky. Planet Zolomir. Ambient temperature 34.68 degrees. Local time is 232420. GST. All systems nominal. Shutting down. Okay, as soon as it. Nope. Wait, do I have unlimited ammo? Are they going to destroy it for me again? I'm just going to let them do it. <laughs> they did it! <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Alright, so I think my theory is right, though. I just didn't do it at the right timing. I need to hit that exactly when I can start firing. Yeah. So the AC-10, let's see what the range is. Because I don't remember. I think it's like 510. It's 500 meters. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That fits, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um I know for a fact though that it goes past 500 meters despite that. I think it's uh, I should probably start firing at about 550 because I'm pretty sure it's still going to hit. Okay, so before I do that, though, I want to know what the speed that they're running. Maybe I have the wrong engine on here on top of that. So what speed does Jangler go at? Yep, center that. Navada. Nope. He is going roughly 300. Okay, what is Prox doing? Nope, it's still roughly 300. Okay, so my mech speed was fine. I just need to get the alignment correct at the beginning, mash forward, and then kill the dropship. Uh, I also probably need to set nav eta as my point immediately. Okay, try again. Planet Zolomir. Ambient temperature 34.68 degrees. Local time okay, is that'll work. 23, 24, Nav Eta. 20 GST. All systems Okay, the question is where do down. I do it right about here? Roughly? Where's the dropship? Straight ahead. I missed it. Okay. How? Okay. Something is not right. Okay, I'm gonna switch this to AC twenties. Mad Dog, Storm Nova, Jenner. 
but mm, how much ammo do I need though is the question and would I be better off with LBXs um it's roughly the same I think Matt it may have well let me think about that Honestly, I think it's like a copy and paste of DOS more than anything else. Literally the same bugs that happened in DOS happened in the 95 version. Now, if I was playing the uh, Battle Pack or Titanium Edition, yes, you're 100% correct if I was playing that. But I'm playing just the vanilla 95 version, and that pretty much is a copy and paste because they even use the same assets and everything. Um... In fact, I mean, the version I've got has got the DOS on it in the first place, and yeah, they share the same. So, I mean, there could be a few more bugs, but I don't know of any extras. Let's see. 400 versus 450. Um, as far as the soundtrack, no, uh, not on the, um, 95 version, the soundtrack's pretty much identical on, at least on my disc anyway. Okay, I'll just get an AC-20, it's not gonna work. Um, how much ammo though? Two tons of ammo? No, I need more. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. Titanium, that totally makes sense. Yes, I believe you're correct. Oof. Zero armor? There's nothing I can take off on this. I am going to go look at the AC-20 build. Let's see what uh, Brox had. Because... Why? He had 30. His max speed is 265, so he took the engine down. So, if he took the engine down... Hmm... Let's turn this off and go back. I want to see the mech you took. Wait, what? Switched? That quickly? Nice. Whoa, 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 come back. That was too quick. I cannot pause on that segment for the life of me. Nice. 
There we go, finally. So he took six tons of AC-20s. 245 XL. Okay. That's important. Let's try that at this point. I don't need world record, I just need to actually get it to work. Did he fit? I am correct. He took all the armor off. This is... Not ideal. Forty-eight. That's not bad. Okay. So, I think for a real run, the best option is to use the AC-20, at least for now. The AC-10 seems to be completely unreliable. Four. 